Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you all are doing well. I was trying to get a video out this week for you guys because all my videos are basically somewhat in real time within a couple days of when I post them. And uh, it has been a super busy week. So this video that's supposed to come out on this Craftsman mower, you guys will see next. Uh, another little sneak peek. I was working on the mower deck for it. Give y'all a little sneak peek. It's just taken longer than I thought and I had a lot of stuff going on. So I did pick up a really good deal this week. Um, from what I can tell, we're gonna go check it out together and uh, see what we got. And you guys can tell me what you think. You think if I got a good deal or not. So let's, uh, I gotta go over to the other side of the yard. Let's check it out. All right. So for 500 bucks, I got these three machines. I'll save that one for last. <clears throat> right off the bat. Now this guy reached out to me and he said that uh, he had some equipment. He had four wheeler and a couple mowers and wanted to see if we could make a deal. Uh, he was someone that had bought a mower from me last year and he still had my contact information. So this one is a YT 3000. He said that it was running when it was parked. So we all know what that means. Uh, it could be good, could be bad, we don't know. This has the 21 horse single cylinder uh, Intec on it. This is a 42 inch cut with the hydrostatic drive. Um, it was sitting out underneath of a carport, no seat. But I do have a box of parts that came with this. I think I have the seat tray and some steering stuff for that one. I'll show you all in a minute. But so far we're missing a battery. I haven't even checked to see if this had compression or not. Oh yeah. I can't even tell with the oil, but that looks... That looks like it's got some gas in that. Shouldn't be spreading out that quick. I don't know. It does smell a little bit like fuel, so we'll see if needle and seat have leaked by. Oh, let's see what else we got. What do the blades look like? Well, spindle's free. Blades look almost brand new on it. Actually, I think they still have the sticker on the top. Yep. So brand new blades, let's see. So yeah, we've got that one. I should have a seat for this machine. On to the next here, we've got a, what is this one? A T2600 Craftsman. Show you guys the front end. So with that box of parts that I got, it came with the steering linkage and there's like those little side shroud covers and I've got both of those definitely has some sun wear on this plastic sorry if the light's not very good um, let's see this one is a automatic so this one has the plastic transmission in it I don't know yet if this is gonna be a parts machine or what did not have a mower deck with it but he did have a couple pieces of the deck like the chute uh, this was a 46 inch We've got a Kohler Courage Elite in here. I don't know what's the Elite on the uh, the Courages, but uh, he had the shroud off from. Oh yeah, this was a flood uh, lawnmower too. So I forgot he got it from a guy, and it had been underwater. So it's pretty much milkshake in the oil plastic transmission in the rear looks like it leaked a bunch of grease out of it because it's like all over the wheel this thing's pretty much a hot mess so we'll see this one may just be parts uh, maybe we'll swap a hydrostatic a real hydrostatic transmission into this one since it's kind of a newer body style if the engine's any good we'll see we'll see what we got um 
yeah that's pretty much about it on that one and then last but not least we have a Kawasaki Bayou 300 this is a 1997 this is the two-wheel drive with the uh, locking differential so it has this mechanism right here to lock the diff um, it's pretty good shape I mean for a 97 this thing is in actually really good shape the plastics are pretty fair there's a little bit of surface rust on the rack um, some paint chips and stuff on the wheels but overall I've looked over this thing and it seems pretty solid uh, we did try to crank it up when I was there uh, it sounded like it had uh, decent compression he said that he ran premium fuel in here and he just could not get it to start so I don't know if we're dealing with spark issue on this fuel issues or what he did buy a newer four-wheeler that was four-wheel drive and this has been sitting for a year in his shop so um, he was basically just ready to to move on from a lot of this stuff and clear out his yard so I was more than happy to come in and give him 500 bucks and take this equipment so let me know what you guys think you think that was a good deal I guess we'll find out if this four-wheeler runs or not um, I mean everything's factory on it the the brakes did feel good OEM exhaust on it um, it's got the little rear compartment I'll have to check that out I don't know if these were the factory size tires on here they seem pretty huge if you look at it from the side it's got a pretty good rake to it it might just be what they were from factory um, it does have a wireless or Bluetooth whatever winch on the front I think it's a Badlands yeah the Badland 2500 pound winch uh, with a little custom plate here but the hook is pulled into the roller so I'll have to figure that out uh, headlights are still there a uh, pew pew rack on the front and also it did have a newer battery in it but the battery is totally dead so I'll see if it'll take a charge and yeah so these are definitely gonna be projects on the channel I'm excited about this one this is gonna be something we can use as the family uh, do a little bit of some four-wheeling and having some fun so I'm really hoping this is what I was really after when uh, he told me what he had so uh, these were just bonuses basically but I think that one should be a good machine. I should have parts to make that a nice solid unit. 42 inch cut hydrostatic with the 21 Briggs Intec. Then we've got the Courage, what was it, Platinum on this. Plastic transmission, it's been flooded. It's a, we'll see, maybe take the seat, put it on that one. But time will tell. So yeah, that's, Pretty much what we got going on i am working on finishing up that other video of that craftsman it's just like i said it's taken longer than i thought and i've had a lot of stuff going on this week so i am always trying to bring you guys a video at least once a week now and uh so this is what i've got to show y'all right now and hopefully you guys are excited too weather's starting to cool off a little bit here and i'm working on the shop a little bit as well so trying to get things organized so we can have some good content over the winter time and have some fun so i appreciate y'all checking out the channel uh, we have been growing and i really appreciate everybody stopping by i love hearing from you guys let me know what y'all want to see and uh we'll take it from there so on that note let freedom ring let the small engine sing i'll see you all in the next video